Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the bacterial recombination part 2 which include the methods transformation and transduction. Transformation is uptake of DNA, uptake of naked DNA from the environment while transduction is transfer of DNA from one cell to another cell through virus. Uh, transformation plays important role in transfer of DNA in which uh, this process occurs in soil and aquatic environment. So students, today we will discuss bacterial recombination part 2 that include the transformation and transduction. In earlier, uh, earlier we have discussed the conjugation process. So what is transformation? Transformation is a process where the DNA fragment, the naked DNA fragment present in the environment is taken up by the competent cells. It is discovered by the Fred Griffith in 1928. Then what is competency? Uh, competency is a complex phenomena it, in, it is dependent upon several conditions like streptococcus pneumoniae when comp becomes competent when it is uh, in its uh, log phase when its uh, uh, CFU reaches to 10 to power 7 to 8 and the transformation frequency of competent cells is around 10 to power minus 3 means only one cell out of thousand have the capacity to take up the environmental naked DNA. Now, gene transfer by this method is occurs mainly in the soil and aquatic environment. This is transformation. You can see this is the bacterial, uh, bacterial chromosome and the bacterial cell, and this is the chromosome, and it is the naked DNA present in the environment. And in the second step, uh, this bacterial cell become competent and start to take up uptake of DNA. And here the DNA is been uh, DNA enters into the bacterial chromosome, and finally you can say there are two methods in the crossing over that DNA uh, the crossing over has been occurred between the naked DNA and the bacterial chromosome and the in, in second part there is only insertion of that naked DNA. The one more thing if the naked DNA is not integrated then that will be degraded and we can say that transformation is unsuccessful. Now transduction, it is the process in which DNA fragment is transferred from one bacterium to another through bacteriophage. It is discovered by the Joshua Lederberg and Jinder in 1952. It is of basically two types, one is generalized and second is specialized. In generalized transduction, a DNA fragment is transferred from one bacterium to another by a lytic bacteriophage. Lytic bacteriophage means after, uh, after that, uh, after the formation of the phage particles it lies the bacterial cell and now it is carrying the donor bacterial DNA while in specialized transduction DNA fragment is transferred from one part to another through a temperate bacteriophage means the viral chromosome it attached to the bacterial chromosome and here is in specialized transduction a specific portion of the uh, DNA has been transferred to another cell now it generalized transduction you can say this is you can see this is the bacterial cell and bacteriophage is, first of all bacteriophage attached to the bacterial cell in second step is it starts penetration after that the, uh, the viral chromosome enter into the bacterial cell in third step destruction of the bacterial dna in fourth step you can see replication of the viral genome and in next step there is a production of viral proteins viral parts and after that packaging and final step is the lysis and release of that particle so this is lytic cycle and in this generalized you can say any part of the chromosome can be transferred and after that process and after that process the phage particles lies the bacterial cell and release now specialized transduction in this there is uh, the virus particle enter into the bacterial chromosome and it is integrated after that and it take up the part of that bacterial chromosome bacterial dna after that it degrade the dna then replication occurs and production of viral parts and packaging 
and finally lysis and finally lysis the difference between specialized and uh, the difference between specialized and generalized is that you can see here the viral chromosome have taken up the some bacterial pro portion through by mistake and it can uh, transfer to the another generations